number four. The 145 pound weight class, Dominic Petroselli for O.J. Roberts. Hello, my name is Dominic Petroselli. I'm in 11th grade. I'm graduating in 2015 and I wrestled 145 this past year. My style of wrestling is hard nose grind out for six minutes, do whatever it takes to win. I like to be aggressive and on the attack more than defensively. I'm better when I'm shooting. I feel that my best shot's a double leg or a high crotch. Switched off to a double. I ride kids very well. I feel I have very good tilt on top and it's all attitude on the bottom and I hate getting ridden out. So I think Dom's going to be a good find for a, for a college coach because his style of wrestling is very simple. Uh, he's a mauler. Uh, he'll just put his face through your chest as he blasts the double. Um, he's not a flashy and, and I think you know if you watch most college matches you're not looking at flash, you're looking at, at grit and toughness and I think Dom's, Dom already has that style developing. This past summer I attended a Jay Robinson camp up in Edinburgh, Pennsylvania. I feel that this camp prepared me in many ways. I feel that it showed me what college wrestling is about and how it will be when I get there. And there's been times where, where Dom would mentally break on himself, where you know he could he could get he could get a, a, one more sprint in or one more set in or he could he could finish a shot, but just mentally it kind of it, it he was tired and he didn't know how to push himself through those mental barriers. And I think going to J-Rob this summer helped out a lot with that, but also just with him as a person. Once you go through something like that camp, you realize that, that you are a special person. They don't give out an I did it shirt because it's easy, because everyone gets through it. And I think Dom got a little confidence, not in just his ability or in his skill, but in his ability to work hard. And, and what J-Rob did for Dom is it taught him that, you know, this is working hard. And this is where I need to be. And if I work at that level, then I'm working hard. So although I think, you know, he always worked hard, his definition of hard is different. And that, for a lot of kids, helps them get to the next level. One of Dom's greatest attributes is that he loves to wrestle. He loves everything about wrestling. He loves to watch wrestling, talk about wrestling. He loves wrestling shoes. You know, he loves wrestling t-shirts. He loves wrestling films. There's not a kid in Pennsylvania he doesn't know about. Um, I don't see that going away. I see him carrying that um, into his college career, maybe even beyond, um, as far as his participation in the sport. And that can go a long way in college when you've got a kid who wants to wrestle. It's not how you start, it's how you finish. One of the neat things about Dom is that, uh, you know, I've seen him I've seen him throw a lot of different things. He'll bring a left-handed headlock, he'll come back with a low single, he can high crotch, he can inside trip. There's a lot of things that he can do well, and he's not afraid to do it. He also can be dangerous on top. He's got a really nice tilt. Tom hits, uh, he's got a great hazard. He's got some good arm bars. Um, he can hit a half from a lot of different positions. Um, and his ability to score on top is something that separates him a lot of other kids. This past year, in my regional tournament, the top three make it to states, and I was wrestling in our semifinals match and ended up losing the match pretty badly, I would say. And after that match, I was beyond mad at myself for losing, but I knew I had to regroup and I had to come back and take third, or my whole season was a waste, in my opinion. In the postseason, when it really mattered, um, he was able to string together um, some really good periods and, and some really good matches. And that's something that he has struggled with over his career. Sometimes kids can take those, those setbacks in, you know, in December or January and let them change the way that they approach wrestling. And sometimes that change can be for the better or for the worse. And I think Dom definitely changed for the better in the second half of the season, how his mental approach to wrestling and also just his work ethic and, and his wrestling style. He was, he, he was willing to make little changes to things that he'd done his whole life that allowed him to be more successful at the end of the year than it was at the beginning of the year. So after being mad for those about 15 minutes, I regrouped and you knew I had to come back and just win my next match to get to the third and fourth place match. And then after I did that, I just knew I had to go out there and 
get the job done, win, which I did. I feel like I have many qualities that I could bring to any given college program. I am a very hard worker in and out of the room. All year round, I feel like I work hard towards my goals to get better. Lifting four days to five days a week, running, just practicing every day, even in the off season, trying to get three, four practices a week. I feel like I have a good attitude. I try to bring a positive attitude to every practice, every workout I go to. I want to get better every day and I don't like to lose. There are many things to motivate me to keep my grades high. Probably the biggest thing is I have a sister who is in college now and she's never gotten to be in her life and I kind of feel obligated to continue and stay up on her level of intelligence. It just drives me to do better, I guess. I know that there's a lot of peer pressure in college, but I deal with peer pressure every day still in high school and I feel that I'm pretty good at pushing it away. And in my mind, the right thing from the wrong thing is, what am I gonna benefit from doing it? Am I going to get better or worse? How's it going to affect my body? Or what are the positives or what are the negatives from what I'm doing? There's, there's a lot of little things, not major things that Dom can change, but little things that, that if he changes them, there's tremendous amounts of growth. So, you know, whatever college does get him, I think he'll be lucky because you're getting a kid that's tough, that's willing to put work in and, and still has a lot of room to grow.